age problems are actually very similar to coin problems in that now you have an unknown value and you're going to have to solve for it. Now with age problems, you're going to be told three things. You're going to be told people's names, you're going to be told their current ages in some fashion, and you're going to be told a future age and an amount of time or a past age and an amount of time that has passed. And you'll see them in the two examples that we do in these videos. We're going to talk first about the first type of situation you can see in these problems. Where Bill is three times as old as Pietro, and 18 years from now, Bill will be twice as old as Pietro will be then. We're going to find the present age of both Bill and Pietro. So this is situation one, where you are told a future or past amount of years, and you have to determine the present age. So here's how we do it. Similar to coin problems, we're going to create a table. Tables always help us organize the information. We're going to create a three-column table. The first column is going to be the person's name. So let's create a column for the person. So our people in this problem are Pietro and Bill. The next column is going to be the present age. But here's the thing. The problem tells you Bill is three times as old as Pietro. This means here that that is their current age. We don't know their current ages, but we do know that Bill's age is three times the amount of Pietro's age. So Bill's age depends on what Pietro's age is. So similar to our other word problems, we define our variable for one of the people. In this case, it works for Pietro. And since Bill is three times as old as Pietro, he is 3x. That's their current age. And then the third column is going to be one of two things. It's either going to be a future or a past age, that's a slash, in the future or the past, and then above that, once you determine if it's future or past, you write the amount of years. Well, in our problem, it's 18 years from now, so that's going to deal with the future, and it's 18 years. We're going to say 18. So what we have to do is express their present ages 18 years from now. Well, if Pietro is x8, years old now, in 18 years he will be x plus 18. If Bill is 3x now, in 18 years he will be 3x plus 18. So now you just have to set up the equation. Okay? It says 18 years from now, Bill will be twice as old as Pietro. I'm sorry, Bill will be twice as old as Pietro will be then. So what it's saying is, in 18 years, Bill's age, which is 3x plus 18, will be twice as old, so will be means equals twice as old as Pietro's then. So we're doubling Pietro's future age. And then all we have to do is solve. So we distribute the 2, and we get 3x plus 18 equals 2x plus 36. Variables on both sides, so we bring them to one side. We get x plus 18 equals 36. And then by subtracting 18 from both sides, I get x equals 18. Now, what that is telling you is x is 18, so I have to go back into my table, and where I see x, I'm going to substitute 18. Well, here I have x, so Bill, oh, sorry, Pietro, is going to be 18 years old. Bill will be 3 times 18 as his current age, which is equal to 54. The question, is, as you can see, is asking for their present ages, which you have just solved for. So Pietro is 18, Bill is 54. Okay, so that's how you do the first situation, and you can move to the second situation when you are ready.